Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, what I want to do is talk to you guys about my available snakes. But more importantly, I also want to show you guys uh, my male breeders are going into my females, the locks that we're already getting, and all the weird stuff that we're seeing that we're now starting this new breeding season. Stay tuned. Before we get into all that crazy stuff, huge shout out to Gomez Pythons. Send me a large by mistake. I think he should have left me an extra large, but I get it. I probably look a lot thinner on camera than I am in person. But badass shirt right here, Gomez Pythons. You can't really see the Gomez because it's hidden away on this side of my belly. You can't really see the Z either because it's on the other side of the belly. But best believe, uh, we got that shirt on lock. And he also has dope, 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 dope YouTube channel. You know, it, pardon my. Excitement, but look at that intro. Ooh, right there. I'm gonna leave that right there so y'all can see that logo all day long. Man, he works with a lot of cool jeans. He got a lot of pipes too. So, you know, I got I gotta give him some love because he's working with the pipe stuff like I am, you know. But he's on some other stuff too that like I'm like I can't even afford stuff like that. So I don't know what he does for a living, but man, he living. So y'all better make sure y'all give him a subscribe to his channel. Gomez Pythons, great content, man, great people. I mean, he hooked me with a shirt. Bam, he, this came all the way from New York. You know, that Brooklyn style pizza, you know? So, huge, 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 huge shout out, man. Follow him, he, I mean, we gotta get him up on the subscribers, man. He, his content's really, really dope. And you know, I'm not just saying that, I don't really be throwing up people's videos, man. But his, I see his stuff, I, I remember reaching out to him a while back and, and, I, that was one of the videos, one of the channels that I continue to watch to this day. But all right, thank you for the shirt, brother. Appreciate it. Let me get, let me get into this little video real quick because we got a lot of craziness going on, and I don't even know where to start. The first thing I gotta start one more time is low key. Gotta show off two of the snakes that I still have that I haven't sold. And the only reason I'm doing it is because I need to start making room for the new season. So real quick, real quick, real quick, real quick plug in. Give me a second, give me a second. Bam. So this is the first little beautiful sexy animal right now. This is a pastel yellow belly or gravel pied male. Seems like we need a little bit more light. So, yup, here it is. Look at that blushing on his head. That's a beautiful, beautiful snake. So this is a Pastel, yellow belly, or gravel pied male. Looking sexy. Uh, just like Zo. Got another one that looks really, really good, in my opinion. Probably one of the prettiest snakes I've seen with so little jeans in it. So, I don't know what's going on here, but this snake is just beautiful. This is our pastel, yellow belly, or gravel pied male. So and essentially the two snakes are pretty much the same as far as genetics, but they look totally different. And I don't know if that's just because of the the pairing, you know, uh, different mothers, but you know, for sure they're both uh, pastel yellow belly or gravel pies. It's just one of those things where they just look different. So they're both males, you know, doing great, eating. So give me a holla if you guys are interested. But more importantly, we got some locks. Man, I didn't catch them on video, but I gotta show you. I gotta show you the snakes that lock. I'm gonna, show, I'm gonna pull out the female real quick. So, this female, I'm really happy about. So, super entry pastel pied female. Can't believe I got a lock. I was so excited. So the the guy that bred to this female right quick is, uh, well, hopefully, you know, let's go full term here, but it is our ODYB Leopard Head Pipe Male. So, oh man, can you imagine some Enchi ODs? Oh man, I I'm happy with just an Enchi OD. You throw in yellow belly or leopard, man, I'm gonna be happy. So this little girl here, well, not little, it's about 1600 grams. Hopefully, it's gonna be one of my first females to drop clutches because she is the first lock and she's exhibiting all the behaviors that you wanna see on the snakes that are gonna pretty much gonna go for you for the season. So, 
that's one. Then I have another one that's, a, I'm pretty sure I didn't see a visual lock, but based on the positioning of the snakes, how they were acting with each other, I'm pretty sure some magic happened. So, this is our yellow belly head pied female. So my goal here really is to um, prove out my super pastel yellow belly or gravel pied male. So if I get any ivories, I know that my male's a yellow belly. If I get any highways, then I know that we have a gravel, which will be dope. One thing that I am noticing is that this female, I've been trying to pair this female for over a month now. Maybe over a month. I have to, <sighs> to look at my books. But something that I'm noticing is that she's really light in color. Like extremely bright, extremely light. So I'm hoping that's a good sign. You know, the glow before they go kind of thing. But that might be a little early. So I don't know what's attributing this, but you know, seeing my animals every day um, makes you notice these kind of things. And she's definitely a lot brighter than she usually would be. So I'm pretty sure some magic happened with this female. Okay, the next thing I want to show you guys, which is a little bit different, is probably the male. This male, I'm a little iffy about when I get your opinion. This male is over eight, grand, eight months old, but for some reason, he just doesn't grow as fast. I mean, he eats every week. It's just, I don't know. I mean, let, let, let's see how much he weighs. So this is our Cypress Red Stripe. That's it, Cypress Red Stripe, stripe Mal. So, he is sitting on 3, 400, essentially 400, 399. So 400 grams. I mean, I don't know. I, I haven't bred him, because I'm thinking that's a little bit small, but I'm thinking if he starts hitting 475, I might give it a shot. Um, I, I gotta say, I'm almost tempted to do it. When I pop, you can see that sperm plugs there, hemipenes fully developed. I mean, I think he's probably gonna be good this season. I, I really do. Uh, but man, first plug-in of the year for this guy's gonna be the spinner pied female. I gotta see if I can produce some crazy cypress pinstripe or cypress red stripe head pies. That would be sick. Uh, that would be just so dope. So we don't even know if this is a Lilic, right? So if anybody out there knows, let me know, because I may be wasting my time in here trying to prove certain things or even might give me a better understanding of what my odds would be. As far as I'm thinking right now, based on what I've seen out there, a Cypress and Red Stripe might be a Lilic. So might be a cool thing because that means that it's a lot harder to get the two genes together in combinations, uh, but kind of sucky too because now I have to work extra hard to get what I want. So again, this man will probably go to my spinner pipe to hopefully produce some pretty cool stuff. All right, then I want to show you the other male that's already going into the rotation with some of my females, which I believe he just ate. Oh, no, he actually has a rat in there right now. So I'm gonna let him chill. Um, Show you guys my other snake real quick. This right here is our, our ODYB Leopard Pet Pipe Mal. Look at that color on him. Oh man, that, that's just so dope. So right now, right here, right now, we're gonna pair him with a female. Now he saw that, that um, super enchi pastel pied female. So we're good there. I wanna leave my super pastel for the puzzle project. So, but I wanna get a little bit more pies. Try to get these combination to visual pies more, a little bit more so. So what I'm gonna do, that's one of my pied females, one of my biggest pied females. 
that means right here so my technique is that once I actually put a male in there I won't let that female see any other males I hate trying to I, I don't like double the double side clutch or who did what you know I like knowing who the daddy is Bam. that's it it's a wrap right there another thing that I want to do real quick is this this is our pastel pie male he's also a hundred percent head clown what so I'm gonna pair this up guy this guy up right now with our pastel spider clown female that's a hundred percent heifer pie so as long as I get truthfully reputable breeder uh, reptile Florida reptile ranch uh, so I'm not worried about it but you know if you don't know you don't know and you want to know you know um, I want to make sure that you know they just, they just are what they are so I'm hoping that I at least get a pied or a clown out of the pairing so I know that they both are heads for where they should be heads for but I would be really hopeful to get a pied clown so throw this little male in there perfect and for now I think that's it my females are growing like crazy I will show you guys one of my really one of the things that I'm really hoping will go I have not paired her yet just because I want to be a little bit optimistic and I want to hope that the puzzle male will get to breed this year maybe early January and actually try to get some double heads so this killer clown I mean, ha uh, sorry killer pie is just amazing it's look at that body condition oh look at them rolls man that's a good looking snake look at the colors man this is a snake it's just beautiful it's pounding on food just going ham on food I, I, I'm pretty sure she's gonna go for me didn't go last year truthfully I don't even know what she weighs let me let's let's get that weigh in real quick one thousand seven hundred grams yeah she's she's ready to go one thousand seven hundred gram female man four or five bags of some pastel double head puzzle pies can't go wrong with that so really really excited about this one yeah. quick question to the community out there would you guys risk having this female not go because I'm waiting until early January or late January to try to pair her with the puzzle male or should we try to go for like would you go for like a I, I guess what I'm saying would you take that risk or would you go for a, for a short thing and already throw in that you know proven breeder male in there to try to get some more babies that's a tough question I'm interested to see I'm interested to know what you guys think another one that I'm really excited about I didn't even think about this until recently this right here is a 2400 gram red stripe coral glow now this is the cool part right now and I'm gonna bring it out so I can visually look really cool this pairing right here hmm you guys thinking what I'm thinking? Think about it. Cypress, red stripe, red stripe, coral glow. If this is the Lelic, I have a pretty good shot of recreating this snake. Right? Cypress and red stripe, boom. And on top of that being coral glow, this pattern in a coral glow kind of mutation might look really, really, really cool. Not only that though, I will probably have a shot. If it is the Lelic, that means I get no normals. It's a fairly good shot I could actually prove or get a super red stripe coral glow. See where I'm going with this? 
So if it is a Lilac, I should have no normals on this clutch. And I have the potential to gain supers. And oh, dang, dang girl, you can't do that to her. That's, that's baby mama right there. He gonna try to buy baby mama. Man, he must not like them. No, I won't go there. Nope, nope, nope. Um, so, yeah, I mean, this is, I'm really, 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 really excited about this pairing because I wasn't even thinking about it. The unfortunate thing, though, to be honest, is that I like, I like having most of my snakes or all of my snakes being visual recessive or re for something, right? Uh, this would really just produce a really, really cool snake. I don't know how much I would pursue that after this. But I, I would really, I would really, 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 really like to see what a cypress red stripe coral glow looks like. So the fact that it's, if it might be a lilac, might give me a really, really good shot. If it's not a lilac, can you imagine what a super red stripe cypress will look like? Man, that's kind of crazy. So really, really excited about this pairing. And you know what? Real quick before I put her in her tub, she's always been a sweetheart, man. This stink right here has always been a great eater. But you know, like sometimes, you know, some snakes are really good eaters, but that means that they seem a little aggressive. They're always at the edge of their tub trying to strike. Not her, she's just always sitting in her corner doing her thing. And then, you know, when I put a rat in there, she goes into feeding mode, but I don't really have to worry about opening the tub with her. She's always really just like chilling. Some of my other snakes are like super, super into like you know, <laughs> ambushing their prey. So they kind of sit on the opposite side of the tub and they're just ready to strike. Those snakes I kind of pull out a little bit more carefully, but this one, something like this, it's just a puppy dog, man, for real. Alrighty, now I also want to show you guys my pastel head pie just because i'm really amazed of the growth that she's had as far as coming back from having us our first clutch last year If she goes right here, all her glory. I mean, she's back. No flabby skin. Really good body condition. Man, I couldn't be prouder of this little girl, man. And not in a rush of breeding her. If I do, I do. But I'll probably put this in the back burner until I am super, super sure that she's okay to go. Same thing with the other pie that gave us the other clutch. I just want to make sure that my snakes are healthy before they breed. Um, you know what though, but cool representation here. I really feel like this is such a nice uh, pastel. I mean, damn. I feel like almost everybody that has snakes, they look at their snakes so, for so long and they're like, Wow, there must be something else in there. And I don't want to be that guy. So I know there's something else in here. But maybe... What's, what's up with this coloring? I mean, this is just a pied girl. You see that... You see that coloring underneath her? It's not orange like Orange Dream. So is it just a super nice pastel? I, I mean... I feel like her belly... Maybe it's the head influence too, right? So this is where I start like, so I don't say anything, but I mean, look at her babies, man. I mean, oh, I'm gonna get bit now. Here we go. Look at her babies. That's crazy, right? That's a super clean snake. Though so the ball python gods have spoken and they don't want me showing you guys none of the snakes. <laughs> My camera turned off showing you the babies. Uh, just take my just take my word. Snakes are just beautiful. Uh, so many things going on. Our spinner type female. Our spinner pipe female looking amazing. 
ready to go. Another female that I'm imagining, same thing, man. Oh my God, this is for sure gonna try. I'm gonna try to make this my year. Uh, can you imagine uh, Cypress pinstripes or red stripe pinstripe head pipes? If, if you get it, so this is the look, the beautiful thing about having the visuals, right? I put, I plugged that male in with her, you know, and all of a sudden I could take that pinstripe cypress or that pinstripe red stripe, red stripe, and if they're not a lilac, hopefully maybe even a pinstripe cypress red stripe head pipe male, and put these to one some of the other females. That means that I won't be, uh, you know, reading back to uh, mom or anything like that, you know, to keeping it clean as much as possible, and all of a sudden, you know, I could try to hit some of those crazy, crazy snakes. So really really happy that i'm starting to get females up to this size that aren't only recessive or have the pie gene but on top of that I have two three or four cold dominant or dominant genes in them so i'm really really stoked about that and that's pretty much it guys i, I i'm hoping you guys enjoyed the video I'm really just trying to show you guys the locks that we've had, the locks that we might see, uh, just the whole, whole whole thing. I mean, we have about 19 females that are probably gonna go, oh, I'm, I'm sorry, where, where am I at? I have about 20 snakes, most of them females, but I feel this year we're gonna get most of the females to go, which will probably be somewhere around 11 females to go for us this year, fingers crossed. Um, so, you know, that's gonna happen, so, you know, the next videos are going to be really interesting in my opinion because now we're getting into the actual pairing, the locking, you know, seeing the behavioral changes of our females, uh, seeing the ball wrapping, getting the cool spot, you know, trying to pick up on all these signs that I'm pretty, still pretty new to trying to spot. So, you know, but I'm glad that I have one season under my belt so I kind of know more or less what to expect. I'm sure I'm still going to hit with tons of curveballs, but I'm ready for them. Uh, Again, I just want to say thank everybody for watching our channel. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. It really helps us a lot. It, it feels like we're being accepted to the community. You know, all, all ball python enthusiasts out there uh, and reptile enthusiasts. So, man, if you don't mind, you know, subscribing, maybe following us on Instagram at Clutch X Reptiles. Um, and yeah, man, if anybody out there has comments, concerns, questions, please feel free to reach out to us via Instagram. Or YouTube, we always try to help and we always try to just talk to people and just have conversations about snakes. You know, you can talk, we can talk about two normals all day long. That's how much I love about Python. So, thank y'all for watching my channel. Hope y'all staying safe. Until next time, peace.